Yes, sir. What do we get? 32 k That's not bad. We already have max finishing. Shooting. We got all my shooting badges. Let's go. Playmaking is already maxed. How much do I get for defense? 14 k We max defense too? No way. Max bad. Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Coach Duke, man. Back with another banger. And before we even get into today's video, man, if you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy this video and it helps you guys out and you enjoy the other content on my channel, man, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We're so close to this big 20K. Make sure you guys drop a like on the video, man. Let's aim for 200 plus likes. And make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you never miss another banger upload from your boy, man. As you guys can see in today's video, man, I have you guys with the best defensive badge method and some finishing badge tips as well but mainly best defensive badge method in nba 2k21 on my meant to drop this video like a week or two ago when i maxed my badges but yeah i don't know a couple of stuff came up this game's kind of boring current gen's kind of boring we're all just kind of waiting for next gen and on top of that i've just been going through stuff you know in my life so I haven't really been uploading as much, but I finally am here today for y'all. Um, I got all my max badges on my paint beast. I'm a 95 overall bat. I hit 99 now easily now that I'm starting to play more. But pretty much for the defensive and finishing badges, this, this method is pretty much like a glitch. It's not a glitch, um, but it pretty much is a glitch. That's how OP it is. You get pretty much, you can literally max your defensive badges in one day and your finishing badges if you use these tips. So pretty much on uh, defense. So the first main tip that you guys want to do is first of all before you even get into the my career game you want to make sure you have the right setting so make sure you have it on 12 minute quarters so 12 minute quarters and then make sure you're on a hall of fame difficulty these are the two most important things so you can maximize your badge points um as well as the hall of fame difficulty so you can maximize everything um as possible and as you guys can see in the top right i'm just dominating with my points and my rebounds a plus teammate grade just dominating this is this is also this gameplay right here. This is when I wasn't even a starter yet. So I was getting limited minutes putting up these numbers. Hall of Fame difficulty, limited minutes, easy A plus without the hardest defense you can play against. So pretty much starting off on the defensive end, y'all. Um, you're going to see it some in this clip. I'm going to give you like just basic tips. And then if you want to do the method. So the main defensive method, y'all, you want to stand on the opposite block of the opposite side of whatever the opponent's on, right? So say I'm a center. So my man is a big man right so if the big man on the other team is standing on the left side of the court you want to stand on the right block and if the big man on the other team is standing on the right side of the court you want to stand on the left block so pretty much go on the opposite block um of where the opponent is and then once he gets the ball he's going to be wide open so the cpu on the other team is going to give him the ball right once he gives him the ball you, once he makes the pass, you want to sprint over to the other block. You want to beat him to the block pretty much and just get that block every single time. It's mainly going to give you a block every time. You might get a foul sometimes, but it's either going to give you a block or if you're late, it's going to at least give you a contest and paint defense is so good this year. You're most likely going to make a miss even if, you know, you don't get the block. However, the blocks are what you want for the most defensive, you know, badge points because you get the block and if you can grab the rebound too, you can get the defensive rebound after the block that gives you hella rep i mean hella defensive badge points so you want to make sure you do that um for the defensive end and make sure you grab all those rebounds and then um on the offensive end you can get defensive points uh by setting screens obviously so set screens pick and rolls and then also getting offensive rebounds so if you set a screen right and the guard doesn't hit you on the roll get position right away it's not really hard to get position in my career in my career you can outrun the defender by going like a little wheel route so you can actually run around the center like out of bounds get in position grab offensive rebounds and then just put it back up right away that's another great way um to get defensive badges so pretty much the key thing is blocks and rebounding screens and then also on the defensive end tip passes and steals okay so the cpus in hall of fame difficulty they don't throw 
um, you know, that many Stevies, but they will throw Stevies from time to time. So if you see them, you know, running a play, they the CPUs like to run a lot of plays. So if you see them running a play where someone is coming off a screen, like to shoot the ball and you can read the play, don't go up right away because he's not going to pass it. But like right when you see the guard's head turn to make the pass, sprint, push R2, sprint in the passing lane, and then push square, get that steal, and then you'll have a fast break dunk. So that's pretty much all the ins and outs of defense, tip passes, screens, offensive defensive rebounds. But the key thing is standing on the block, getting those block shots. Um, also, if you're not standing on the block and the guard is driving, the CPUs love to go for floaters. And floaters are so easy to block in my career if you're a center like me. Um, as you saw in the gameplay, I just I got so many blocks in this game from floaters. Just let them come down the lane, make them CPUs think that they have a wide open layup, and then just come out of nowhere and get the easy block every single time. It's easy defensive rep. And now, there's many ways you can get finishing badges. Um, finishing badges, like a lot of people, what they do is once they become a starter, they like put plays in, they'll run plays where you can just run around a screen and catch lobs every single time and then once the defense you know commits you just get the ball you can put on drop stepper put on you know relentless just get contact dunks off the drop step um and that's easy finishing right there contacts give you a lot but what i pretty much did since i was mainly focusing on defense you know obviously in this video and in the clips once i would get the rebound i would just outrun them i get the board Use my analog stick to sprint, and you want to stay as close to one of the sides. So either pick the right sideline or the left sideline, and you just want to sprint all the way down the sideline. And then right when you get close to the baseline next to the rim, you want to cut and go in like a little, you know, little rotation, little circular motion. Go around the defender. It'll let you blow right past them, and then you'll get like put a make sure you have on NBA dunks and like contact dunks and stuff. And then you'll get a contact dunk every single time in the paint. Um, or you'll just get a normal dunk, a wide open dunk, because you'll just blow by them in transition. And that's an easy dunk every single time, easy coast to coast, and easy contacts for easy finishing. So that's how I was, you know, maximizing my finishing and my defense every single game. So it was so, so OP. Um, also, run around, you know, take a wide turn, run all the way around off the ball, and then you can easily get backdoor cuts, blow by the defense, get an easy backdoor cut and then catch the ball and dunk that's an easy way as well and then like i said also with the pick and rolls y'all um pick and rolls are absolutely crucial you set the screen just roll and usually you'll have enough time to beat the defender right down the court and you'll just get a contact dunk or another relentless finisher dunk so it's easy easy um finishing badges uh the playmaking was really easy for me because i have you know i got gold quick first step and silver downhill really really quickly just running down the court getting dunks um or just getting assists so pretty much you know you run um they're gonna in, in my career they're gonna double team and triple team you a lot so once the double team and triple team comes you'll just pass it get easy assists and you'll get easy playmaking from that so playmaking is really easy and then for the shooting y'all you just want to go brain dead as the center so you want to go brain dead um right into the defense and you're gonna get a contact dunk or they're gonna foul you same thing as in the in transition on the fast break they're gonna foul you you draw the foul and then you just make your free throws free throws are really easy i use michael jordan um just knock down your free throws and then you'll get shooting badges and that's easily how you get your one shooting badge for the slippery off ball so badges this year are very very easy like i said this is the best method to get all your defensive and all your um finishing badges in literally one day it's absolutely insane so if you guys have any questions about this method man let me know down below um in the comment section as you guys can see 17k for defense we finished that bar and we almost got another bar it's absolutely insane if you guys have any questions though let me know down below in the comment section if you guys enjoyed this method and it helped you guys out make sure you guys hit the subscribe button man drop a like on this video turn on all notifications make sure you guys follow my twitter and my twitch both links down below in the description man and i'll catch you guys in the next one man peace